Suntec Power Holdings Company, Ltd. is a producer of solar panels, with 2,000 MW of annual production capacity by the end of 2011. Shunfeng International Clean Energy Ltd., a HKSE listed renewable energy investment and independent power producer company, acquired Suntec in 2014 following Suntec's bankruptcy in 2013. With offices or production facilities in every major market, Suntec has delivered more than 13 million solar panels to thousands of companies in more than 80 countries around the world. As the center for the company's global operations, Suntec headquarters, in Wuhi, China, features the world's largest building integrated solar facade. Suntec's fortunes have declined significantly since its peak in 2008, due to a glut in the market for solar products and problems with its investments. In March 2013 it announced a 541 million US dollars bond payment default, becoming the first company from mainland China to default on its US bonds. Chinese banks subsequently filed to place Suntec a Euro unregistered trademark S main unit, Wuwei Suntec Power Holdings Company, Ltd., into insolvency. The company's American depository receipts were subsequently delisted from the New York Stock Exchange and placed on the over-the-counter exchange. Global Operations Suntec Power has representative offices in China, Australia, the United States, Switzerland, Spain, Italy, Germany, Japan, and Dubai, as well as production facilities in Wuhi, Huarang, Kangai, Shanghai, Germany, Japan, and Goodyear, Arizona. Suntec America is based in San Francisco, California, and the company has plans to start a production facility in Phoenix, Arizona in 2010. Suntec also has executives of their U.S. operations in top posts in American solar panel industry groups. Installations Suntec Power has supplied or installed solar modules for numerous solar power plants and systems around the world. Notable installations include Cliff Bar Headquarters, The Wharf, home of the Sydney Theatre Company, Alamosa Power Plant, Arizona State University, Beijing National Stadium, Elecna Power Plant, Mazda City Solar Farm, Nellis Air Force Base, Expo 2010 Shanghai, Katera Sun, the company's Suntec Energy Solutions division completed Google's 1.6 MW solar installation in June 2007. Suntec Power joined with Israeli company Solarit Doral to build a 50 kW rooftop project in the Israeli settlement of Katsrin in the Golan Heights, which was connected to the electricity grid in December 2008. Suntec panels were used on the Katera Sun field, the first commercial solar field in Israel. The field was developed by the Arava Power Company. In 2010, Suntec topped the solar panel shipment with 1.49 GW shipment volume. According to Pinsights, Suntec targets to ship over 2 GW in 2011. However, free price fall for solar components in 2011 made this more difficult to achieve. During the downturn of solar panel price, Chinese companies showed their ability to compete in cost management. On the very first day of the third quarter in 2011, Suntec announced that they would terminate their long-term wafer contract with MEMC by paying 120 million US dollars. Market share of the top five Chinese solar companies ranked in 2011, which are Suntec, Yingli, Trina, Canadian and Jinko, made a huge advancement from 17.2% market share in 2009 to 30% market share in 2011. The five Chinese solar module companies almost doubled their totaling market share in 2.5 years and took nearly one-third of the worldwide market. Suntec announced in 2013 that it will be closing its Goodyear Arizona panel manufacturing plant. The reason given for the closure was the hefty tariffs imposed on Chinese solar cells by the United States International Trade Commission, even though the panels were assembled in Arizona, the cells were actually produced in China. Awards. Suntec Power was recognized as the 2008 Frost & Sullivan Solar Energy Development Company of the Year. Frost & Sullivan research analyst Mary John commented on the recognition, the company's pioneering success in developing energy-efficient, cost-effective and customizable building integrated photovoltaic systems and crystalline PV cells, and modules for solar energy conversion into electricity are highly commendable.
it has gone beyond just meeting global energy needs to anticipating them as well and highly satisfied customers testified that the BIPV systems and other energy efficient products are customized precisely to their needs. The Andalay AC solar PV panel was awarded one on MSNA Euro unregistered trademark S most brilliant products of 2009 because of innovations that advanced their ease of installation and use. Suntech Power is one of the main manufacturers of components for the Andalay solar panel sold by Acona Solar. Founder Dr. Shi Zhang is the founder, chairman and chief executive officer of Suntech Power. He is a graduate of the University of NSW School of Photovoltaic and Renewable Energy Engineering. At UNSW, Dr. Shi studied under Professor Martin Green and met Stuart Wenham, now Suntech's chief technology officer. Dr. Zhang Shi was honored in January 2010 as a finalist for the Zoride Future Energy Prize. In 2007, Dr. Shi was named one of Time magazine's Heroes of the Environment. He is often referred to as the world's first green billionaire. Dr. Zhang Shi had been appointed visiting professor at the University of NSW. Investments, before going public on the New York Stock Exchange in 2005, Suntech was funded by a consortium of private equity firms, including Actis Capital and Goldman Sachs. The consolidated private equity investment into Suntech is generally considered to be one of China's most profitable private equity investments ever, as each firm is thought to have made gains well over 10x on their original investments. The company's stock performed quite well after its first day of IPO on December 14, 2005. In June 2008, Suntech invested in Global Solar Fund, a company investing in power plants in Spain and Italy. In May 2010, Suntech guaranteed a finance arrangement of 554.2 million euro provided by China Development Bank to companies related to GSF, using 560 million euros in German government bonds from GSF Capital as collateral. However, on July 30, 2012 Suntech revealed that the bonds didn't exist, they were apparently forgeries. In the following week, Suntech shares lost 40% of their value. Bankruptcy, Suntech, defaulted on $541 million of convertible bonds in March 2013. On March 20, 2013 Suntech filed for bankruptcy in Jiangsu, China. In February 2014, Suntech filed for Chapter 15 bankruptcy in Manhattan, New York to seek protection from U.S. creditors. A creditor so Euro unregistered trademark working group led by Distressed Debt Funds Clearwater Capital Partners LLC and Spinnaker Capital Limited announced in August a plan to recapitalize the solar maker, the company said in a statement. See also, Solar Power in China, Renewable Energy Companies on the Stock Exchange. References External links, Suntech website, Suntech starts construction of Shanghai Fin Film Plant, Suntech announces $425 million offering, Solar Future brightens as oil source, Suntech announces major initiatives to significantly expand share of the U.S. solar market and capture greater portion of revenue in PV value chain.